Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with my last project share for a little while because I haven't made anything else new. But I wanted to just share them out. Maybe it'll inspire you to make these as well. I will link um, the tutorial down below from Disco Dolly. Um, it's a couple years old, but it's uh, every time I watch it, just to kind of refresh my memory, it, it helps and it's actually not that hard. So you mainly need the sheet protectors, a sewing machine, and then your shaker bits and cardstock. So as I mentioned in my last video, I found a whole drawer full of like scrap paper or paper that like I still like, but I'm not like ready to give up yet. And you know, so it's just kind of like, you know, like in limbo kind of paper, I don't know. So I'm trying to use it up as best I can. So that I'm not like wasting it and I'm not donating it or giving it away. I'm, I'm trying to use it. So um, one of the things I found was a 6x8 paper pad um, from Garden Party. Which was one of my favorite Maggie Holmes collections. I'm not a total Maggie Holmes fan. But I really did like that collection. And I knew I had a 6x8 paper pad and I couldn't find it and lo and behold while I was cleaning up I found it so it didn't have that many sheets left um but I was I managed to use most of it so I only have like a little bit of scraps left but then I just partnered it with whatever kind of coordinated with it um this is kind of just a mix I made trying to use the same colors um and then this is that cute house paper background and then this is um, also part of the collection so they're blank like I didn't decorate the top but it's ready to go so that when you are ready then you can just grab it and add it i didn't i also didn't put the velcro um like i would normally do this is also i think this is part of the maggie homes maybe not maybe not garden party but it's i think it's also maggie homes um and then i found this paper here and then i just did a lot of like butterfly kind of stuff and then it's good um, for using these papers like you don't know what to do with <laughs> like for me there's a lot like on the backs or something that like I kind of like it but it's so big the print um so it's it's really good for using up stuff that like you just haven't used up um this is an old I don't know if that's Maggie Holmes too maybe a, an older collection and then oh my gosh these butterflies just stick to everything so once I stuck it in there it like took over the whole shaker part so the back is like pretty plain it's actually like a ombre you can't really see it um and then here's the back um this one was more like purpley pink kind of colors so it's also Maggie Holmes and so I used more of my purpley pink um heart sequence in metallic and here's the back um i then sometimes you don't want pink so then i got green um i really like this is that same technique i use where i did like the whites and greens together and then i added blues um like this one or maybe it was this one i did first i can't remember i did one of them first oh i think i did this one with the blues so it was like more blue and white and cream and then um then i added green to it to go with these so that's an easier way if you're gonna do like like bigger mixes i like how those came out um this one was like a low the lone wolf of the dark blues i don't do a whole lot of dark blues but i really like that print so i wanted to use this um this up i didn't want to waste it so that's this one um here's another maggie holmes look how cute those birds are so i added a lot of um similar sequence mixes with flowers and butterflies so yeah i guess i have a hard time using that so i use that on the back of that one too um this one is really plain so the the paper here is just this um what is it oh i know it's the polka dots <laughs> i didn't even see it um and then the pink top and then that um it reminds me of like you know when you used to like write script that's what it reminds me of the guidelines and then here's one with just diagonal stripes. So this is like the same mix, but just different backgrounds. So this one pulls more orange, this one pulls more pink. Let's see. Um, here's another cute one. I think this is like Lara Bellaria or one of those. Um, or Mintopia, one of those. Um, I put a lot in this one, like way too much. But I've been using like a lot of yellow, so it's good to use up all your sequins. That's why I like doing this project because it uses up it uses up a lot of your supplies. It uses up a lot of your scraps, um, and then a lot of your sequins. So it's really good for. And then you have like something pretty 
to put like your embellishments or whatever you're going to give to that person okay this is another one like i i kind of like this paper but i'm kind of over it but it looks so cute once you make it into a shaker right right see guys don't waste your stuff okay look how much i put in oh my god i went crazy in this one like look how much I haven't real I haven't figured out like how much to put in to make your mix versus how much you need for this. <laughs> I'll get it one day. And this one has like the sunflowers and bright colors. So it was kind of fun to do this. Look how much I have like on the outside. Like it's it, this this type of confetti is like it just sticks to everything. So <sighs> whatever anyway so the paper was actually more black and white but oh and then this was part of that maggie holmes collection so i decided to put i was gonna put it on the other side which kind of good i didn't because the gold would have like distracted you so i put it on the back and that kind of worked out nicely and then i like it with these subtle backgrounds actually it's kind of good like then the sequence kind of is not competing with the background and then here's another of the flower one Okay, so that hopefully that inspires you to like go make a stash. I thought I had some extra ones somewhere um, that I had found recently, and then I didn't. So I I don't know where it went, but at least I have a stash now that I can kind of use up. Um, I have a lot more that are pre-cut, um, but I just have to, I didn't have time to make any more of the sequence mixes and finish sewing it. So you kind of have to get it all done in that sitting because you don't want like the sequence to spell out after. So you have to have enough time to kind of go through it. And I like for me, I prefer like mass producing stuff because it makes it a lot easier. But um, but even if you just give somebody something like this without anything on top, I think it's still cute. Uh, but if you're, especially if you're going to give a crafter, of course, you're going to want to embellish it a little bit better. Okay, well, that is my project share for today. Um, hopefully I can get back in my craft room again, and I'll talk to you guys next video. Bye!